What's up, Kim Foods? This is Kim Chi. And Tofu. Yeah. Critical's yeah. Basket, episode number 16. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Aomine. Go. Yes, oh, we yes. see a lot of Aomine fans here, man. He's, remember, he's bored because he's too good. Way too good. All right, he's just too good that he's bored, but we want to keep him in check, all right, guys? Let's see if we can keep him in check. I think we can keep him in check, but, you know, like it says, the only person that Aomine can beat is Aomine. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining Kimchi Tofu. Let's go and start. Kuro's Basket, episode number 16. Your light is too dim. Oh, man. You got to remember that insult so you can come back with more fire. <laughs> yeah, the Federation Miracles full of those guys. Pissing me off. Mm -hmm. The opening act. That's what they're yeah, called. Yeah, that's the opening act. And these guys are really good, too. Yes. So... <laughs> All right, it's eight to four. It's already not starting out too good. Uh oh. Oh, come on, get the rebound. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, wow, that's a power throw. Come on, block him. Block Please. him. Nah, he's not going to block him. See up higher? Oh. Whoa. What was that? Oh, he took he it around. So he went like this, and then under, he freaking pulled out a Jordan? That guy can jump then. Mm-hmm. And yeah, these guys are stronger than our team. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> yes. She's like, man. Dude, they just wow. blow him away. Yes. Every game. So they're full out offensive team because they have a really high over a hundred points every game. Yes. <laughs> you apologize, <laughs> don't shoot. If you apologize. Oh, it's miss. Come on. Oh, oh, man. Taiga can't even get the rebound or anything. So these guys one play like one. the all-stars. It's not really team play. They just go on their own. Man, what would be a counter against this kind of team that just does their own thing? So that's why they're okay even if Almina misses practice because they just... Don't play as a team anyway. No, yeah. Come on, show them what teamwork is about. Yes. There's a, there's a screen. Good. Come on. Come on, running please. gun. Of course, he's a yes. captain. Captain's like Clay Thompson, man. He's automatic. <laughs> he called him apologetic mushroom. <laughs> he apologetic mushroom. Between him, captain, and sorry guy is personal. <laughs> oh. Man, they keep running fast breaks. Yes. Come on, team play is better. <gasps> this is oh, you forgot about Kuroko, Kuroko yes. yes! Kuroko, you got it? Yeah, wow, look at his uh -huh. hops! Yeah, oh, he's no, way he's too, too low. low. Oh, there but you he go. got it, he got it. That's team play. So always looking out for each other. Yes. <laughs> what nationality are you? <laughs> that was actually a sad jump. I thought it was high, but it was actually slow. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kuroko's taking this game personal. Yeah, but I wonder how he'll feel when Almino steps in court, yeah? He's got to stay in check. It's just what like she said. Hmm. <laughs> he came to watch the game again. And Midorima came too. I thought he said he wasn't going to come. He's wearing sunglasses to hide himself. Oh. <laughs> and he's got his lucky. He's wearing sunglasses indoors. <laughs> Probably some superstition. <laughs> yeah, sure, he be was just in the area. Yeah, so, but once, uh, you know, Kuroko and Taiga gets in the moment, they can turn it around. Because she knows everything about them, each player. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what if she can't play against him? <laughs> Seriously, because she likes him. She loves him. <laughs> Midorima didn't know that she had a crush on him. Oh, so every time after practice and game, she will always be next to him. <laughs> She's still competitive, right? Yep. Her passion for basketball is over love. <laughs> 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 That's your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I think she's cute too. Mm. 
What is she handing out though? Everything about them. Steal! Go! <laughs> Come on, you can take him, Taiga. Push through. Come on, he can shoot too. Oh no, he's going for the. Oh! One man alley! Oh! What the heck? Wait, but she already knows that he was gonna try that. So they're guarding every single move that they make. Yep, they're targeting all their weaknesses and strengths. Well, at least the coach found out that she's been super studying them. Wait, so she's an agent. She just does the research on them. So they're like saying she's an intelligence agent. Man, these guys are having this much hard time without Aomine. This is not good. Yes, our team has evolved. Yes, we do grow. We've been practicing. Yeah, that's right. He always only goes from the outside. He shoots from the outside. Hmm. Come on, don't tell me he's he's gonna actually charge in. Charge. Oh my god, don't tell me he's gonna go for a crossover and he's gonna go for a layup. <laughs> no, he's gonna go for the shoot, actually. Oh, but she knows something. <gasps> oh, fake. he knew that he was gonna fake it. How did she find this out? She even reads how her oh. opponents will grow. Oh, man. Wow, look at that. Dang, she has like her own scouter on or something. Woman's intu intuition, that's why. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think that's something our coach needs too. Oh, so he's unable to act under pressure, so... This is not good. Wait, she's what? one step ahead. Hold on. They don't know what's coming next. What Are is it, coach? Sure? Sorry, guy. Ah, oh, Kuroko, of course, it's Kuroko. Kuroko with the screen. Ooh. Fake, go, go, go to Taiga, yes. I like that, under the legs. Kuroko is the answer to everything. Yes. Didn't see that coming, huh? For someone that's so in love with Kuroko, can't really see him. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't read your own love, right? Is you that what it, what it is? <laughs> probably something along those lines. That's why she loves Tetsuko, because she can't figure him out. Oh, good. There's only, only four, four points. points, yeah. I think uh, Sadin is going to take them on second quarter. And that's where Aomin is going to come in and just destroy them on third quarter. Destroy them? It's going to be our two rookies countering them. This is basically just the, the rookies against the coach. Yep. They're going against the coach right now. It's more like the rookies game. No, come on. Palm! Pass! Hey, hey. Sorry. Dunk all over the place. Someone who just graduated middle school. Block over... Dunk over those two blockers. Go! He's too tall for you. He got wings. Mm. All right, Taiga got wings. No matter how smart you are, this is pure athleticism, man. They can't jump over freaking. She's sweating too. Dude, Taiga's already feeling it. He's. Oh my gosh. Oh. No, I think he's just getting heated up. He does look tired though. He's hurting. Oh. She oh. sees it. She sees it, right? Yes. Yep, Kagami. So he's not gonna like it. He's <laughs> no, gonna wipe it, man. This. Yeah, you can't hide it, man. Nope. It's written all over your legs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, someone get an ice patch or something or massage his legs. Come on. She's gonna tape him just for caution. Oh, that is true. It kind of killed his momentum, too. He was on fire. He was in the zone. Yeah, but if he breaks anything or messes anything up, that's it for him for the season. Dude, they over, over height. They're too tall for him. Yeah. Dang, we're at a really bad uh, disadvantage here. No, we're almost going to be in double digits. Mm-mm. Well, at least Kagami's in the right head still, no matter what. Oh, he's back in. Let's go. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Wait, why is she apologizing? Oh, it's Ooh. because she's injured and she just want to put him in there. 
Give him some good words. No apologies. Tell him, kick some butt. Fight Yeah, get him. The beast is back. I'll win it. I'll win it. I'll win it. Oh my god. It's time. Get off me. Wait, he's here. It's not even. Oh my god. Why do I feel the chills that he's here? <laughs> Wait, he's gonna play for one minute uh, just to what? Give him a taste? I guess. Oh my gosh, I wanna see. No, 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 don't end right now. Oh, Come on, Kuroko, please. Shoot. Why, you fool? Ah, they just had to stop it right there. You couldn't just tease us with 10 seconds at least or one no. shot from Aomine? Mm -mm. Holy cow, this guy. Talk about timing, man. Kagami, he's injured. Still, or, he's not fully healed. He's not fully healed, and that's not good <laughs> at all. Because, I mean, no. who else works best with Kuroko? Yes, and he's the only one. Him and Kuroko are the only ones that can pretty much defeat this team because they're the ones that are still growing the most. So they're more of like a wild card that they can't really put like um, any woman's intuition on well she can't what figure about to do. anything about kuroko so i like right now kuroko yes. is the answer kuroko and kagami Kaga Kuro well kagami is kuroko can't do it by himself he has to have kagami yes of course so it's like yes kuroko and kagami is the answer yes but right now she just cannot decipher kuroko which is pretty interesting momoi son she her vision and that's what scouts uh that's why I said agents is like they're very good at seeing the talents and what they're capable of, their potential and everything. Oh. So they're very good at scouting. And I think that's what I said in the past episode, how, you know, the scouting and that's why she took Almine. And oh. What is there to coach? They don't do team plays. No. They got Momoi's data. That's, that's the, pretty much all that they're coaching about is don't do this, do this. Make sure, you know, you watch out for this and that's it. Go play. Have fun. Go play. <laughs> beat the fun. game. Yeah, beat the game. I mean, nobody actually has even given them any chat competition because they just blow every team out of the way. I don't know how I feel about Aomine coming in and Crook Stadium defeating them. I just can't see it right now. The fact no. that right now for the first half, they've been having trouble with without Aomine, mm -hmm. right? Just the team itself. And it'll make sense that in the second half, they're going to understand what's going on. Uh, they're going to find their momentum and they find a way to defeat them how they did with, against Midorima's team. This is different because... Kagami is injured. He's Well, not only he's injured, but the first half just completely goes to waste once uh, Aomine go comes in. Yes. Because everything you've learned, everything you've adapted against the team on the first half, it's all going to go to waste because once Aomine steps in, everything's going to change. Everything's different. And you only have two quarters to figure this out. Technically, two quarters to beat them. These guys actually said that they're cute little kids compared to Aomine. Basically, what it is, is you're going into war. Mm -hmm. You have all your war birdies. You're going into war. And you're battling this war and you're trying to find out the strategy to go against them, right? Finally, you're finding a way to defeat all these Marines and everything. Now, all of a sudden, a carrier ship just comes out of nowhere. And you're just like, okay. Okay, we're screwed. It, it's kinda, I kind of feel like it's like that, you know? Yes. Unless Kagami and Kuroko can come up with something that will surprise them. But for me right now, the chance for this is just really small because they have to start all over once he comes in. It doesn't help that the fact that Kagami is injured before Aomine steps into court. Yeah, and we're behind on points. We're behind on points. And also the fact that Kagami is actually the only one that can out-rebound and out-jump all the other players. Because yes. the other teammates in Satan are very small. I don't know either. I don't know how this is going to work out. If they can pull this off against them, then... Do you know what? <gasps> Mad props to them. Mad props to you. I mean, you remember you... only Aomine can defeat himself. Yeah, Aomine is the only one that can defeat himself. So... so let's just hope he just trips over the ball and breaks his ankle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I'm actually worried about is that Aomine is uh, probably the closest person out of all the Miracle 5. He's the closest person to Kuroko out of all of them. So that means this guy knows Kuroko the best out of everything. Yes. So he probably knows where Kuroko is. Is that? He kind of. Yeah, he knows how Kuroko plays. But uh, 
I mean, Kuroko's still learning stuff. That, that's his shadow. Yes. Come that's on, you're shadow. telling me his light own light won't know where his shadow is? Well, he's not his shadow anymore. He's, he's not his shadow anymore. Shadow. But still, he was his shadow. So I think that maybe um, him seeing the Kagami's passion and them still trying their hardest, even though he's uh, he has his own weakness right now. He shouldn't be playing at his fullest, but he still is. I, I think all of this stuff maybe might affect him. I, I still don't there's see no it. There's no answer to yeah, this. Yeah, there's no answer. It's just to watch it. Yeah. Because they made... Aomin is such a great character. I just can't tell what they're going to do with his character. That's there's the no thing. guessing. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I just don't know what they're going to do with the character. I, I don't know, uh, you know the yeah. story, but... With a character, which is, character. What that's is something that I'm really looking forward to. All right, guys, that was Kuroko's Basketball, episode number 16. Let's go. Thank Let's you guys go. for joining Kimchi and Tofu, as always, and we'll see you next time. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.